Only two survivors escaped the massacre at Cragstand Bastion. A beridden infantryman, broken and near blinded by blood, and his horse. It took them a week to hobble across Gold Air, through the Aornine Mountains and into Beridden. Then, finally, they glimpsed civilization. A tiny village in the foothills of the mountains. But, as the man spurred his wearied horse forward, he heard a sound behind him. He turned and shrieked in horror at the sight of a sea of sharp-legged, beetleish demon spawn tumbling down the mountainside. The soldier's last sight was of a great spike-ridden man with fearsome twisted horns silhouetted atop a mountain ridge against the white sunlit clouds. When the soldier and his horse had been reduced to bones, the tide of demon spawn turned their murderous mandibles toward the village. Isilian leapt ahead of the wave of destruction, eager to steal the lives of the villagers. But as he sailed through the air, something almost as big as Isilian now was shot out of the sky and knocked him away from the thatch-roofed buildings. Before the dust had cleared, Isilian leapt to his feet in utter rage. The Dragon Emperor Helm Sicken, Keeper of Beridden, alighted on the mountainside in front of Isilian and elegantly folded his magnificent red wings. Without a moment's thought, Isilian rushed at the dragon, claws slicing the air, teeth bared. Helm Sicken beat his wings to get away and sent a jet of flame at the demon, but Isilian ducked past the fire dug his claws into the dragon's tail and dragged him down into the many waiting mandibles of the clustered demon spawn. Helmsicken snapped his jaws at the insects and thrashed in vain against their pitiless claws, but he couldn't escape the vicious throng. Isilian roared in victory, and a roaring reply came across the mountains. Word had quickly reached Beridden of the terrible destruction in Gold Air, but the demon had destroyed two of the most powerful armies that had ever existed. No mortal men could stop him, and so the duty fell to a higher power. It was time for the Divine Dragons to fight together again, an occurrence of millennial rarity. By the time the dragons had assembled, they faced the might of a clawed, horned, spike-laden demon the size of a castle, with all the magical power he had accumulated from countless deaths and an innumerable army of hook-clawed demon spawn.